Morning, everyone. So, and I, I know this is a much broader shot than you guys are used to initially, but uh, just sort of set the stage for what I have planned and kill the volume on my phone. YouTube professional here. <laughs> so, I've been thinking about this for a while and wasn't sure, quite certain how to go about doing it. Um, where I've been playing the game for five years, almost six years now, uh, with a couple of breaks in between. How do I demonstrate uh, to a brand new to the game player how to put builds together, etc. when I've got all of that extra, I think it's six or 8,000 extra health uh, that my watch affords me. Uh, I've got a full recalibration library. I've got all the blueprints. I've got all the all plus the, you know, the shared account resources. So I've got access to things that most new players, all new players don't have access to. So again, this week has afforded me an opportunity to reflect, think, what is it I want to do with the channel? That sort of thing. So, um, my intention at this point, and this is what I've done is I've purchased, and you can see it in the small screen. Uh, I've purchased the game again on a, a separate account. I've gotten as far as this login screen, so I haven't even set the, uh, the, the graphics to where I want it yet. My intention with this is I'm not going to play the full um, level 1 through level 30 portion of the game. I am going to boost the character, and the reason that I'm actually going to start with the main campaign is for one reason and one reason only, is to join a clan. Um, this character does not have the option to, uh, if, if I go straight to, uh, to New York, um, the clan vendor is, or not the clan vendor, but the clan person is not in, they're in Washington, they're not in New York. So basically, uh, this is in most cases, how I start my characters is I start at level one, go to the white house, boost a level 30 collect a whole bunch of resources there, do the weekly SHD requisition uh, project, and then go to New York. In this case, I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to start at level one, go to the, to the White House, boost the level 30, but then it's mostly how to join a clan. And the reason I'm recommending that is one of the things that I would do is it opens up players to play with, especially if you get into an active clan. It's people to help you along the way. It's to help you do the, the you know, help guide you through those first steps. YouTube does a lot. And I mean, that's why I'm here doing what I'm doing. But to be shown by somebody, to be shepherded by somebody is better still. So I've talked about it, but I it's been so long since I've had to do it, I don't remember the steps. So I'm going to rejoin my own clan. Um, but it's a new character, so it's actually going to be an additional agent in the clan. So that's sort of where we're at. So first steps, uh, I'm going to switch screens, go to the normal. Um, this, again, it's not quite correct uh, resolution-wise because it's not full screen. But I can't do anything with that until I'm actually in the game. So the very first thing you are presented with when you get here is select your campaign. Warlords of New York, which starts you at level 30, or the main campaign, which starts you at level 1. The only two things I've purchased for this uh, on this account are the main game and the Warlords of New York DLC, which does give you the level 30 boost, which is I'm going to take advantage of. And I am going to pick, uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff pop up in the screen uh, as we go along here, but I am going to take a female character. I'm just going to go directly to the continue. I'm going to accept head zero, which is sort of my default. I tend to put everything straight up the middle, except for the ears. <laughs> Um, I don't like the look of Dumbo ears, and I know that's perhaps a, 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 a poor choice of words, but you guys know where I'm at. 
some of these are this is my stand again this what i'm setting up here is sort of my default uh for a female character and it literally for me is that quick basically all i've done is i've picked a head i've gone here set everything except for the ears right up the middle skin tone is right up the middle eyes are sort of grayish because they're not too piercing hairstyle i just happen to like this one it's about personal preference uh and then brown hair dark brown hair and as far as markings and tattoos i'm going to leave that blank for now and as far as the outfit it's going to be something i'm i'm going to I think I have access to all the stuff by default, but just in case I don't, I'm going to go with what's familiar to me. And that's basically it. So that's what we're going to start with. And this is how the game starts, if you've not ever gone this far before. I'm assuming most of you have if you're watching a video like this. Now, before I go, there's two things that I want to do. One is go to settings and fix my, my video so that it's full screen. So that should fill out what you guys are seeing on YouTube. And then the other thing is... Uh, this is interesting. I'm just going to open these. I don't know what they are. And I'm going to go see what I actually have in my... inventory, if you will, of stuff to equip for, for apparel. And that's mostly just personal preference choice kind of stuff. I'm assuming I have basically nothing. Yeah, basically nothing. <laughs> Oops. Well, I do get the specialist jacket, which I might use. And I've got paints and stuffs. All right. Yeah. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. So it's a good thing I put on something that I like. Uh, as far as the shirt, I'm going to stick with the blues. I'm going to stick with the dirty vintage pants. And we'll just go from there. Over here. Agent. Meet me at the gate. So in order to boost level 30, which is all my goal here, uh, I have to get to the White House, which means I have to do the, this is the mini tutorial. <clears throat> then I have to do the steps involved with knocking off the hyenas on the, the march, if you want to call it that, up to the White House. I would normally skip these scenes, but I'm just gonna let them play because I am recording this. See to those barricades and have someone radio the patrols to be on the lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to relocate. Come on, help me with this. We're stretched too thin to protect everyone here. Not again. 
to the waterfront. That can't be right. So an awful lot of what we're going to do today is basically getting set to just gonna the camera slightly, uh, getting set to do and start the uh, the Warlords portion of this. So get to the White House, boost to level 30. I'm not going to be able to do the SHD requisition without spending an inordinate amount of time in DC, uh, simply because there's so many. I don't have any resources. So instead of utilizing that time or wasting that time running around collecting resources, uh, I am going to head to Washington, or to New York City, and sort of lay out a roadmap for what I'm going to be doing in the next little while, and what kind of videos I'm going to be putting out. Get down! Everybody get down! Someone has to stay. We can't just leave these people here. Whatever happened, it needs to be fixed, or it's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! And this sort of sets the stage for, or lays the foundation of where the game fits in the overall we expected coffee uh, in the morning. world of division. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some, Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each, each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? It's been a really long time since I've watched that cutscene. It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting. Now, this scene I am going to skip. Now, if you're playing to this for the very first time, this whole area here has a lot of resources. At the end of the day, New York City has more, in a, in a more tightly packed area, basically.
Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. So again, the first part of this is fairly... It's it, everybody, everybody who starts at level one ends up having to do this portion of it. You know, the one thing that I can't take away is my experience with the game, knowing where the spawns are, all of that sort of stuff. But I've, I'm basically choosing to get rid of everything else. that first part done. So in order to boost, once we get to the White House, we have to go talk to Manny, the division commander, and then we have to talk to the quartermaster. And I am going to skip those cutscenes. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the Quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. We've got a new skill for you. Which one do you want? See you. Okay, with those two things done, I've met everything that I need to do in order to boost, so that's what we're going to do at this point. You probably run into some trouble along the way. You'll have to do this block by block. So, we go to store, add-ons, and level 30 boost. If I was going to play through, I think it's at level 7 that you unlock the, uh, the clan coordinator i don't know what else to call her so i'm basically just bypassing that initial game stuff agent when you got a minute come and see me at the white house i'm working on some new now, i have not purchased the year one pass so all of these have to be researched which is ultimately also one of the things that i wanted to demonstrate as we get going but the first three are open and fully all the points are there uh, i haven't specced into them so I'm starting with Demolitionist. So I'm just going to spec into the... I'm going to do all of them very, very quickly. One of the things that I do is I don't spec into the pistol at all. So you're going to see 155 out of 165. And it's just that I don't use the specialization sidearms. So, and, and this is just a personal thing. I don't like having them in my menu. So... That's the reason for me not doing it. So that one's fully specced out. And I'm just picking these by default. These will change as I put builds together. But I'm going to start with Demolitionist. Uh, I find that doing Warlords of New York with this is a great way to do it. Now, I 
can unlock these at this point in terms of starting the field research, but I'm going to do that after we get back, after we're at level 40. So that portion is done. Now, normally at this point, I could come around here. I'd already collected the keys for this, but you can see I have zero of eight keys. I'm going to purchase these just so that I have them, but I don't have anything to share. And I am going to want to come back in and purchase all of these once I... Oh, what? I've got a lot of cash. That's interesting. That must be new character stuff. Yeah, they. Do, you're right, Iso. They don't take up any space. Um, I just don't like them. <laughs> So it's completely a personal thing. This I'm going to save for when we get back. This is actually a fantastic exotic holster, and it's... If you can do heroic control points, it's very, very easy and quick to get. You another time. So when I come into here you'll see that I can make a FAMAS and a Police M4. That's basically it for ARs. I've got two LMGs. I've got two SMGs. I've got dogs barking in the background. Hang on for one second. Just give me one second. Should really find time to clean and oil these tools. Don't want them to get rusty. Well, isn't that fantastic? So it's really, really windy here and we're in an old property that used to have a flagpole out front. And I say used to because it just blew over and fell on my car. So. One more thing to deal with. So, but we don't need to deal with it right this second. It just needs to be dealt with later today. Here's where I was going with this is I've got very, I've got no resources. Basically, I have no exotics, no exotic reconfiguration, minimal blueprints. Most importantly over here very few of the things that I would normally use. These need to be crafted and I am going to craft the most important ones to me. I am going to want the crit chance scope. The CQBSS scope. If I've got any extended mags, like the 10 round mags. Interesting. 
So, and this is the first time I've done this in a really long time. I do have some of the extended magazines that I'm going to need for this. Some of. Just for the pistol, though, by the look of it. Could use some more crafting materials. I really should make myself a nice comfy chair. Definitely going to want that one. These are all going to get, and I am going to do these on screen. I just want to wait until I have more in the way of resources. So I'm just kind of picking and choosing. And then I can make some of these mods. These are all brand new. Which can be useful early game. Improvised are actually incredibly powerful gloves or incredibly powerful gear pieces. And we will get into that, I'm sure, at some point while we're putting builds together early game level. But you can see basically I've got almost nothing. I'd show you what resources I have, but I think that tab is hidden. It is. So. Okay, this is all for purchasing the game. So we are going to take advantage of it. This should allow me to put together more of the type of build that I would want to have at level 30. One other thing, and this is just something that I do, I come into the, I don't like seeing a big bulky backpack. And that, again, that's just personal thing. So I open up or click on the specialization we weapon, hit X and show signature weapon. I select that to off. Again, personal thing, idiosyncrasy. So we've actually got some pretty decent weapons here. The ACR is now quite a powerful weapon. It's not quite as... I'm going to run that for the time being, and this is mostly to see what mods I have available. I should have the crit chance that I just made. I should have crit chance here. This is from the specialization, because uh, I've got the 5%, but this gives me 7. I do have the plus 10 rounds. And I actually didn't need to make the uh, C79 scope. I could use the small one if I wish, but I am going to use that because it does allow a zoom. And for the sidearm, probably going to run a shotgun or a rifle. Uh, I spec into SMGs. SMGs, um, uh, shotguns, and assault rifles. So some of these are max rolled. So we are going to, I'm not going to mark them as favorite. The ones that are at max roll, I'm going to pop straight into the stash because my stash has nothing so the model 700 is actually a better sniper rifle and it's got flat line and this one's got steady handed so whatever we don't use i'm just going to stash for now when we're level 40 we're going to come back and start worrying about the recalibration library but we're not going to do that for the run Should really find time to clean and oil these tools. Don't want them to get rusty. No ability to pulse, so I'm just going to stick with these two and stash the others. I'm going to keep Hela Guard um, because of its armor and health bonus.
and go Pravi for now. See if what we can put together for a build. I could actually put together a skill build by the looks of it. Well, that's... I've got the One Piece Providence, which as I pick up a, a more Providence pieces, that's the direction we're going to go. I am going to equip my second skill, which is just going to be the Striker Dome. Okay. So we've got a build. I'm going to stash everything else. You do have access to the Tinkering Station here, but you've also got access to that in your menu now. So that is always available. If I go to my library, you're going to see that I've got a whole bunch of triangles. We're going to sort all through all of that after the Warlords DLC. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want to maximize filling this library and, and at the same time maximize, like basically target what I need for the initial portion of it and then use the rest for resources. Oh yeah, everything's still good. Uh, Canadian base. Everything is perfect with the old account. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The intention behind this is it's been six years since I've had a new account. So how do I, as a YouTuber whose focus is more on new to the game or newly re or, or returning players, how do I demonstrate the new to the game stuff with an account that's at watch level 6,500? 6, yeah, 6,500. So that's the, that's the only purpose behind doing that. Plus to remind myself all of it, basically I'm doing, trying to do this in an organized fashion. So you can see my stash has nothing in it. So we're going to stash everything we're not using. These gray ones, I'm going to deconstruct just for the resources because they're basically useless to me. So I'm going to hang on to those just for a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 chuckling because I'm reading comments in my Discord. So these I'm just gonna deconstruct those, this, and then the quickest way to do that is right here. And then deconstruct. Actually, before we do that, oh, it's too late. Okay. So we've got six items on us, which basically leaves, there's nothing in, we've got full inventory space. There's a couple watches I want to grab while I'm here, or sorry, phones. Just the ones that are on the way down the hall. The rest I'm going to save until after level 40 because you pick up XP, or they give you XP as you do it. Now you'll notice this is offline and I cannot go in here because I must join a clan. And that's basically the only reason I'm doing this portion of the run. So you have to visit Grace Larson. Click on open, find clan. And there's a couple things that you can do to search. I'm going to search. Uh. I'm just going to search by name. That's what I was looking for. more in here than I thought. Did I go right past it already?
And there it is. Very cool. Yeah, it's... I'm doing this for YouTube purposes, but, you know, it's always worthwhile re-examining the game from its roots, basically. So, joining a clan is done. That opens up this room, which means I now have access to a level 30 clan vendor, which is very, very, very important when you're new to the game. <coughs> it also... And this is one of the things that I haven't pointed out quite well enough, but if I hit enter and go in here, that's not what I wanted to show. Here's what I wanted to show. Go to the clan. There's a message here that's important. If you join my clan anyway, if you join any other clan, the pin message is probably there. To join the Discord, send a friend request to Agent Meet. So basically, if you've joined this clan, that's where the message is on how to find our Discord uh, because it's not a community Discord per se. It's, a, it's meant to be a clan Discord. So I have now joined the clan. You can see I'm a recruit. On my main character, I'm going to just leave this as a recruit, basically. Um, and I did let the, the clan admins know that I was joining as a new guy. This isn't a spam account. This is basically just me with this account. But... This is where you find the information about your clan. This is where you find out, like I said, this is the pinned message for the feed. This is the weekly progression stuff. Uh, and you can see that this clan has, is a level 30 clan. It's done everything it needs to do to get all the way up to full clan status. What am I missing? Okay, so that was really the sole purpose of doing this. If you're new to the if you're new to the game and just want to get toward the end zone, which is in my opinion where all the fun stuff is, you can go straight to uh, New York. If you want the benefits of being in a clan, this is really the only way to do it prior to coming back after you've completed the DLC. Now there's a couple things I'm going to do before we go because I am going to play this character I'm going to, and I'm going to play all aspects of the game. So I'm going to get rid of some of the exclamation marks basically. Uh, at the bottom it says there are DZ, DZ zone or Dark Zone perks available so I'm going to go choose those. Come over here to the Dark Zone vendor. Choose that and that. Those are my two sort of default ones because I tend not to go rogue. I tend to try and fight them off. So this gives you increased XP if you like going rogue this would probably be the one that you would do because that gives you additional dark zone XP for surviving the rogue timer or the manhunts now the rest of it up here I'm just going to see what we've got for projects everything now again it's water receiver components protective fabric ceramics and titanium which I don't think I've got a whole lot of yeah, I've got enough, actually, so... You know what? We're going to go get a free exotic. I just need water. And I will show you how I... I'm glad I checked this. So we just need water. Okay, beautiful. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to do before we left, and that's visit the helicopter in the center. I've got what you want, Agent. Just to see if I can get rid of that exclamation mark. It may get rid of it, it may not. So, for water. You don't have to watch this as a cutscene. I can press space and get rid of it, but I'm just going to let it play its way through. In order to get 250 water, the quickest way to do it is to hit two spots. First, you go to this control point. You go north and slightly to the west, and there's a water stash right there that has a bunch, but the most lucrative one is right here. This has seven or nine water caches. So by hitting those two, I'm going to get everything I need, plus I get to go to a control point and just grab the resources that are there. 
similarly when I run through the settlement I am not going to collect the phones because that would be free watch level XP when I come back to the game and in all honesty I should have left those two phones alone uh, because you do get XP for getting all those When you're low level, take every opportunity you can to get uh, weak point kills. And take every opportunity you can to open resources or to grab resources. You just don't know what you're going to find. And again, for a run like this, stash everything initially and then sort it after the fact. That way you can maximize the resources that you have at your disposal. Oh, I'm even going to get to do all the parachute caches, which I haven't done in years. To get all of the... Since he's going to follow us, I'm just going to sick my drone on him. Oh, getting tings is everything, man. How you doing, Leno? And just in case they follow me in here, I'm going to leave that here for now. So in this area, there are five, I think... Waters, water stat, caches. One, two. There's also a parachute right there. Three. This gives us water as well. So that was three that we've collected so far. This one is four. And the one over there is five. Okay, so that's all of them from here. Sounds good, Lano. I think at first I'm just gonna I'm just gonna solo this initially because that's how most people would manage it. So for now. Then we go to the uh, the campus settlement. So on average, you get 25 water out of each cache. So on average, so I should have 125 water at this point. <coughs> there are free resources here. I'm going to grab those now because that's one of the things I'm going to be starved for. You head up the stairs, run to the back, head up the stairs again. And then right here, there's a cache. Oh, and it's not resources this time. It is a backpack trophy. And all of the phones are here again. I'm going to save those for level 40. Because free XP towards the watch. Civilians in distress. So this run is mostly about being efficient. And in this particular case with this project, hopefully getting a decent exotic so it at least starts us down. And yes, it's a level 30 exotic, but when we get to level 40, if it's a keeper, which all of them are at this point, we'll be able to reconfigure that to level 40. So here we've got food. We've got one. Two, 
two. There's a third one back here. Three. Four. There's no more back here, but there is another uh, gear cache. So we've gotten three, four, five, six, so it's seven. There's one around the corner here. Seven. We can do this. So back to the White House. So I'm just going to go to the map, go to projects, go to the SHD requisition, and you can see that netted us 320 water. We only needed 250. And what did we get? Merciless. And we also got a named item. We got Fox's Prayer. Awesome. All right. So those we are going to utilize. Even though these are, they look like they're garbage, we are going to save those for later. The Merciless, we're going to save for later. The Police M4, we're going to save for later. I'm not going to use the Merciless on this run. So like I said, I am not garbaging anything at this point. I'm saving everything. So, not exactly the exotic I was hoping for, but again, it's something... Yeah, so in the, in, so this is something I talk about. I've got a video that talks about, you know, new to level 40. Everything that's inside is duplicated outside. So you've got your main vendor. This is the only exception. Uh, your specializations and the quartermaster are not duplicated, but you have your stash. Around the corner, you've got your crafting bench and your tinkering bench. And apparently we got something new in here. We now have the SRS A1 blueprint. Cool. Um, so the tinkering bench, the crafting bench, all of that sort of stuff is duplicated and the vendor is duplicated out here. So you've got your main vendor. This is a mirror of the one that's inside. Ooh, that's a really, really good one. Hopefully that's still there when we come back at level 40. You've got your stash. You get your tinkering station, crafting station, and then you've also got uh, a matchmaking station, bounties, projects, if you don't wish to run upstairs, and conflict. So that's basically the center station. I prefer this area because of all the NPC activity inside. Uh, they tend to either if you're at the main stash, they can actually pin you in the corner, and the only way out of it is to fast travel back to the White House. So, and plus they bump into you and knock you out of menus and stuff like that. So, and then you've also got the countdown requisition station, which, again, requires you to be at level 40 to do countdown. And then everybody should know about the, uh, the season vendors, uh, which are right here. Again, level 40. That's all in-game stuff. But... This is where, I, typically when I finish a mission, I, I fast travel back to the helicopter pad rather than the front door. So, that's just what I normally do. So, we've got everything stashed, we've got everything equipped. I don't have any mods to put on here. You can see in my, in, or in my stash rather, uh, I've got the weapons and the gear that I've stashed. I have zero mods and there's currently nothing in my inbox. So the only two things we've changed out from your default level 30 boost build is I have a piece of Providence, which I just like Provi rather than Fenris. Uh, and we've got Fox's Prayer. So give me 
30 seconds just to run to the washroom. I want to talk about builds real quick, but we'll do that as soon as I get back. All right, I'm back. So I'm actually going to backpedal on that piece of Providence. I've been I just thinking it all the way through. I'm going to go grab that Fenris backpack. Why, and again, why would I pick Fenris over Providence in this particular case? So if you look at my build breakdown, I've got four red, two blue, zero yellow. I don't have any watch levels, so I don't have any of those bonuses. So... The 15% additional assault rifle damage that the Fenris piece gives me has a much greater benefit because I have blue cores on the build and I don't have a watch. If you have watch levels, if you are got an all red build, uh, that 10% assault rifle damage is only going to net you about 7.5 or 8% total increase in, in your damage output. Where it becomes important is when the more blue cores that you have, the more important that would become. If you're all red, because it's of, it's, it gets watered down because basically they, they're all in the same bucket, if you want to call it that. And that bucket gets added together and then multiplied with the rest of the, the part, the buckets that are in the equation or in, inside the brackets, if you prefer. So where I was going with Providence initially was thinking that I had more than one uh, because I wanted the crit chance and crit damage for the two and three piece bonuses. Because they come, they're in a different set of brackets in the equation, they are a more powerful uh, damage. They do more for your total damage output than, say, having a piece of Fenris. Because I don't have any watch levels, because there are blue cores on the build, I'm going to backtrack in what I did originally and actually equip the Fenris piece because that 10% assault rifle damage, because I'm going to be using an assault rifle, that has more benefit to me at this point in putting builds together. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on build crafting at this point. One of the things that I do want to talk about as part of this series is that math calculation that goes on under the hood because it's important that you understand... You, one of the things that has always frustrated me about us YouTubers is we say this is the best build or that's something that gets bandied about, you know, because it's, let's face it, it's clickbait. This is the best build. You throw it together and you're, you know, say you're at a SHD level 30 or 40 and it just doesn't perform anything like what you witnessed on the YouTube. And it's not that they're being dishonest. It's just that that's the perfect build for them and their skill set and their watch level. So... For me, at my stage in development, when, when I was early, new to the game, I would put together builds based on what other YouTubers showed because I didn't know any different. I didn't understand the mechanics of the game. As I've delved deeper and deeper into it, I've learned where the damage comes from and how to maximize, if that's what I'm going for, the amount of damage I can do with a given weapon based on where I am in the game. So that is something that I am going to cover in some depth in a, in a full video, simply because it's important to understand so that you can maximize any build you put together. You can make it your own. You can come up with your own builds that solve the problems that you need solved. And you can craft a build that works for your play style. Because that ultimately that's the goal behind this game is not to put together a build that works for me. Uh, cause again, that works to my play style and, and my, my mentality towards the game and how I choose to play the game. So, you know, I tend to be an assault rifle. I prefer assault rifles. I prefer to play from mid range. I like to use cover. I like to position myself in a place where I can get to cover. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Max? Good to see you, brother. So, but until I grasped the why 
and the importance of picking different things. It, it didn't make sense. It, it just, I was just copy and pasting other players builds and then being frustrated because they didn't work. So the two things that I'm doing here, because again, I don't have any watch levels. I have two blue cores is I'm adding additional assault rifle damage with Fenris and I'm adding in this case, 5% damage to targets out of cover through Fox's prayer, which is again, in a different part of the equation and adds more benefit than the original piece that was here. And plus it gives me a little bit of armor regen. So with this set, I don't think that there's anything further we need to do in Washington. I think we're going to head to New York. And Max, if you're brand new here, uh, brand new account even. Uh, so <laughs> to be overly crass, I have fuck all. <laughs> um, no resources or very limited resources other than what the game gave me when I started. Um, and off we go to, to New York, basically, with the intention of just taking on Keener. And again, this step is not necessary. I wanted to show how to find a clan and join it. Uh, I wanted to take advantage of that, so I did have access to the clan vendor in New York, because there may be things that I need from that clan vendor as I progress through this that otherwise would be locked to me because I was not in a clan. So bear that in mind as well. You might not need, if you're creating a new character or you're brand new to the game, you may not need to do this portion of it, but there are advantages to it. And if you select a clan and they do not have a maxed out clan, they're not active, they don't have a discord, they don't work for you, quit and find another one. So... Or create your own and build it, because that's essentially what I did. Hope you're ready to go to New York. Um, it's not even a new character, Max. It's a new account, so it's it's all new. It's not just a Wony run. It's a character slash account progression. So I actually purchased the game again on a new account. A division has suffered heavy casualties at City Hall. We believe it was a targeted strike. Now as far as, okay, so my time, I've got about another hour and a half of gameplay that I'm going to do. There's a couple ways you can progress through New York efficiently. One is, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, one is backup. Don't be afraid to call for backup. Uh, it's an effective way to get yourself through. I extracted some of the survivors, but there are still people The other way is the to building. join a clan that's active and then get the them to weapon. shepherd you. Mask so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mix of both. Uh, I think with today, we're, we're probably going to... Because Lano has a new character that he wants to run through, so we're going to go there. Max, if you have a new character, we can certainly band up. I don't want a shepherd is basically what it comes down to. Uh, but if you've got a new character, uh, the company would certainly be welcome. So what we're going to be doing as we progress through this is equipping what is of benefit to us and stashing everything else. I'm not going to be deconstructing anything as we go through this run on purpose. Come on, Kelso. Now, to a new character, your resources are going to be critical, so I am going to not gloss over the route that I take going to Haven. I'm going to collect absolutely everything I possibly can because resources are far too important early game. 
And again, I wish I could show you what this character has, but the resources tab is blank currently. And the developers are aware of it. It's just, it, uh, it's part of, <laughs> part of any software development, if you've ever done it, is law of unintended consequences. When you change something, it will affect something else. So, you know, it's City Hall. the tech way of saying shit happens. Because that's Ava's really all it is. Medics. They'll fix it. Make sure the area is secure before they arrive. It's gotta be right here coming into the basement. Agent, this is Lau. There's a surveillance system in the basement. We need to find out who is responsible for the attack. See if you can recover the tapes. So like I said, the one thing that I can't I mitigate or minimize is my experience with the game. You know, I have my level of experience, but this character in this account has nothing, which puts me on a, a playing field where it's going to make more sense as we go through this as, I, as I'm talking, if I'm talking to a new player. We knew Kano was working on some kind of virus, but I didn't think he could weaponize it this fast. We should have prepared for this. Lau, the medics have arrived. They're extracting the survivors. Meet me at the Haven settlement. I'll send you the coordinates. We have a lot to talk about. Absolutely. We'll we'll uh we'll go over how to do that. City Hall is clear. Let's regroup in the park and go to Haven. So normally I would just grab the things that are easy to grab, but I am going to grab every because here. it's all important. Strange being here, where it all started. I guess you build up a picture in your mind. You assume it had to be a perfect storm for everything to go so. So wrong. the path down here is pretty much a zigzag in terms of grabbing the resources. It's just one side to the other. Just chose New York. Now down this side street, if you shoot that, it opens this, which again, we want everything. Agent. There's no Looks massive like rush from getting into position. Because you're pretty much behind cover the whole run. So I play from target or play from cover. I pick my targets of opportunity basically as they appear. Come on, we've got to keep moving. If I'm playing on harder difficulty, I will start looking DC. for the ones that are the biggest threat to me and to try and take them out first. So, you know, grenaders, drone controllers, that sort of thing. 
Get to Haven as soon as you can. Just don't expect a warm welcome. The guy in charge, Paul Rhodes, isn't happy to see me. So again, I'm just grabbing resources and backpacks because that's where a lot of my cash is going to come from initially. It's not from selling stuff. And you can also notice that every, uh, not every backpack, but an awful lot of these backpacks are giving me um, gear uh, apparel because I don't have that yet. So that storefront is a good place. There's backpacks, like I said, both sides of the street. There's water on this side. And then up here, there is additional resources, which is what I'm going to grab before we go into Haven. Could, it, I, I don't know if this is the right format, and you guys perhaps can answer this, is I find that, you know, extended gameplay tends to work better in streams than it does in actual long-form YouTube videos. Now, there's one more bag that you can grab here if you're quick. You're actually outside of the play, the, the mission area, but you got five seconds, so you can grab that one on your way around the corner kind of thing. What? 113? So again, you saw me shoot that yellow box on the wall. That opens this garage door, which gives you one more uh, weapon cache. That's brutal, bud. I do it in this order. Come over here first because this triggers Get the cutscene that you gotta wait for it anyway. Roads. So once You're you've triggered that here. while they're doing their dialogue, the grab place. a few more resources Never around the corner here. Get back. Let him in. Rose wants to hear what they have to say. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fine. So I'm assuming an awful lot of you have done this before. Welcome to Haven. This settlement was founded a few months back by some ex-JTF and civilian volunteers. They're calling themselves the Peacekeepers. It's the safest place in Lower Manhattan. They've got security, food, supplies, you name it. The fact that they're still going and haven't been run over by the Rikers or the Cleaners is pretty impressive. But they're not very fond of the Division, which is why we need to convince them to help us while we go to Keener. Come see me in Rhodes' office. He's not my biggest fan. Too much history there. Hopefully we can convince him to let us stay. Sorry. At some point, I, my phone swapped to a different feed. I'm just getting that set back up again so that I can see the questions as they pop up in front of me. Okay, I'm just about to Haven, um, and I sh you should be ready to join. You're able to join on me here, and very, very shortly. Um, you can you join on me from the clan because I did join the survivors. clan, but we may not be friends yet in game. And I'm skipping these cutscenes on purpose at this point because I've shown these hundreds of times in live streams. So it's kind of just going around and talking to everybody just to open them, open them up. So when you get here, Faye's over there, you need to talk to her. You need to talk to Paul Rhodes to open up your specializations, especially if you've already unlocked them and you need to be working on them. You need to open up Roy Benitez so that you can utilize him as, Don't a, worry about Roy. as a vendor. You don't need to pet the dog, but pet the dog. Oh, hang on. Apparently, I, that got glitched out. And there is free gear right here. So 
so I'm just looking to see if there's any exclamation marks there. I do have a gear cache, so again, I am going to stash absolutely everything we don't need. So this is going to give us a lot more armor, which I find, or we can go down the route of Palisades, which gives us armor on kill, which I think ultimately is the way I'm going to go. We can go Brazos, which gives us skill haste and a skill tier. We can go Grupo to give ourselves more crit damage. The world's your oyster. Uh, I'm going to grab the Palisades for now and then stash everything else. I'm going to keep the damage for now because I don't want to be a complete... All of these are going to increase my weapon damage. <coughs> I don't think there's any right or wrong choice at this point. This Getting rid of the Gila Guard does take away our total armor, so I'm going to make my choices as we go through here. This increases both. That's sort of what I'm looking for. This increases armor, but Fox's Prayer are more important at this point, so... The last little bit is I'm going to increase my damage. This is going to take us back down to approximately where we were before we put on that the holster. I'm going to grab the group ones. And then, like I've said all the way through here, stash everything else. Um, that gives us... That one, yeah, it's got rate of fire. That we want, and I th think that we want for now. Everything else we're going to stash. At this point in your gameplay, if you're brand new, you can see I've only stashed 20 items. It's You've got loads of storage if you're on your first account, your new account, first character. So just stash everything. We're going to sort it when we hit level 40 to fill out our recalibration library in an orderly manner to give us what we need so that we can basically put our first build together and start going after blueprints and all the rest of that stuff. I've talked about this before, setting goals, but I've never talked about the most... Uh, the best way of approaching it in an orderly fashion. So that's kind of what this series is more built, going to be built around. So one last person to talk to is downstairs. And that's just to get rid of that icon that you can see ghosting through the wall. Man, this task force is off to a pretty rough start. So that's done. So again, you can see on my main character, on my normal account, I have all the keys both here and in Washington, which I don't have on this account. I've got nothing, but, and I should have gone through the other way, because I went to and joined a clan, I have access to the clan vendor. Which doesn't have fantastic stuff, but it has stuff. These are gear pieces they're basically clan specific stuff i don't really need those i'm not going to waste waste is a strong term but i'm not going to use any of my precious resources at this point purchasing things if i don't need to so at this point i'm going to go into social go to clan and invite max i can't invite max interesting why can i not invite him i'm going to befriend max so if I go to Ubisoft Connect, and I don't know if you guys will see that, I don't think that you will. think that's you max i'm adding you as a friend i just sent you a friend request it's meet underscore yt for youtube
So he's on his way to Haven. That might be why. There he is. So in a normal Warlords run that me and Max would do, uh, it's all about speeding through, getting to Keener, getting, you know, getting to level 40 as rapidly as possible um, to take advantage of, the, of those, uh, those recalibration or the watch levels. In this particular case, it's more important to get everything while we're here. So I'm going to complete all of the quadrant missions so get all the shd requisitions um basically each project as we open it um we're i'm going to complete it And I want the reload speed here, so I'm going to craft that one. That should be this one. Should be. It was not. <laughs> yeah, let's try that one again. I may not have that one unlocked yet. In fact, it doesn't look like I do. That might be the rate of fire, so let's grab that one. Let's see if it is. Nope. All right, so we're going to go with accuracy because accuracy in shotguns is terrible. That's also why I went with weapon handling because it increases both the reload speed and the accuracy and stability. So I don't really have need of an ACS-12 at this point in terms of, you know, strikers or anything like that, but if the opportunity presents itself to pick up a striker set as we're going through this, I'm going to do it because ultimately that's what I would want for dealing with Keener. And we'll see if Lano's in yet. He's offline still. Okay. And there's a couple of things that we've picked up along the way, and I'm not going to worry about that right now. But we're going to use the, we're going to do the SHD caches along the way because that opens up these chests and gear and gear pieces and weapons are of a lot of value to us as we go through this. So in terms of efficient work, working your way around the, this map, I tend to approach this the same way every single time from Haven. I go to the crash drone site, open up the safe house, which is approximately here, and then do the tombs mission. And then we're going to clear the rest of the things that are required for Civic Center. And then we're going to go to Brooklyn Bridge. 
which opens up the safe house, which is approximately here. Sorry, here. Then do the JTF outpost, and then do Connolly, and then clear two bridges. So that's going to fix the, the top half of the map, if you will. From there, quarantine skyscraper, safe house, and then it is uh, the Hugh Carey Tunnel. Once you have completed two, it also opens up the Castle Clinton mission, which is a prerequisite for Keener. And if you do it it's kind of in this order, so this, then this, or this, then this, it's entirely up to you. Hit Quarantine Skyscraper, open up the uh, safe house. When you finish Hugh Carey Tunnel, if you go right out the back door, you're at Castle Clinton. So it just makes it for, you don't have to fast travel, and it's a very short run. Once those are done, uh, fast travel back to the settlement, uh, the... Uh, the I can't think of the name of the mission, but it's uh, it's right there, so it's a short run, and then finally finish, and then clear Battery Park, and then finish the financial district. And if you do it in that order, it's an efficient way around the map, and you're going to finish at level forty. So as soon as you finish uh, Wall Street and then Pier Twenty Six, you'll be able to go straight to Liberty Island and deal with Keener. In this particular case, we are going to be doing uh, control points. We're going to be doing side missions. So we are probably going to hit level 40 before we even get... We, we might hit level 40 while we're still in Battery Park. At that point, it's important to start looking around at the targeted loot and seeing what's available. Um, because you are going to be starting to think toward putting a build together to take down Keener. And my dad just texted me, so I'm going to take two minutes to, to talk to dad real quick, and then I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So, 
I mentioned earlier in the stream that the flagpole that we had out front blew over this morning. So my father, my parents live right beside us. So dad just texted me and goes, did you guys take down the flagpole? And I figured it was probably easier and quicker just to call him rather than text. So anyway, uh, we'll see if Max is in game or at Haven yet. Yes. You are now group leader. An agent from your clan has joined your team. Awesome. So he is also at level 30 or 31. Max, I'm in the uh, the main uh, voice channel on the Discord uh, in the lobby. Good morning or afternoon, sir. Good morning, good afternoon. Or wherever you happen to be in the world. <laughs> Whatever applies to you. Uh, this character did send you a friend request. Just putting the uh, sound off on the stream because it's a yep. little bit delayed. Yeah, it's 15 to 20 seconds delay is, I think, what I've got it set to. And I immediately, I've got another dude just hunting. Yeah, that's invited me to a game. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Fraylin11, yeah. or whoever he is. He's probably around here in Haven somewhere. Yeah, he's a level 36. Yeah. He's right, uh, right there. Yeah, I'm not. We will not be accepting. I'll have to decline that. Sorry, my man. <laughs> so I think what I have time for is probably doing, definitely we should be able to get through the tombs and we might get all of the other stuff for, uh, what's that, Civic Center? Civic Center completed because I want to do the uh, the SHD caches and basically get the that get that whole zone completed because this character ultimately needs everything. Like this is a brand new level zero uh, level zero account, so I have whatever the game gave me, and that's it. So no resources, no watch levels, no account levels, no nothing. Let me quickly see if I can just make myself look a little bit better. Like, I don't even have gray gear. <laughs> Otherwise... Right, go with. I'll just take that off. It's not appropriate. Yeah, I won't be wearing that one. There is one we can get, I can get, while we're going through the game, I can get the, uh, yeah, he looks like a little baby Groot. They I think they call him Baby Root, but you need the the CNC machine in order to unlock that one. So, which is why I want to do all the, the, all the, all the all while we're here. So... I think I'm caught up on the stream chat. So at this point, like I said, it's just a matter of blasting through. It's going to take me two streams to get this character to level 40. And then at that point, uh, I'm going to start putting out YouTube content with this character. Uh, I am recording this because there are going to be little bits and pieces of either shorts or things that I can put together. But it's both being streamed and recorded because why not? I will attire myself appropriately. Arnell was an RPA pilot before he went rogue. So he knows uh, drones inside and out. We've been using heavily customized drones. You're going to be wearing your, your blue armor. <laughs> you're and, uh, I get the red. I get the red one. Right? You get the blue one. Right? <laughs> you know what happens to, uh, if you're a Star Trek fan, you know what happens to the guys wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> They're the That's sacrificial cool. ones. So basically, yep. it's going to be the same as we normally do, except 
once we've as we're going or, or once we unlock it we can do it as we go or we can do it after we do the boss but i'd like to get the uh, shade caches uh, do the activities and we're going to have to do at least one control point so that you can donate the 50 resources just to clear the projects as we go which we don't normally do but this character is going to need those all the uh, those yellow caches in all the safe houses uh, for the gear all right i'm ready if you are so it's off to the crash drone site first so we're going to do civic center first two bridges and then battery park and finish with the financial district we won't have time to do all that today because i've got stuff i've got to do this afternoon but all good all right canadian yeah, base you have a great day buddy All right, I'm ready if you are. Yep. Get it. Now, I've talked at length about this before, but one of the biggest benefits of joining a clan is exactly this. It's it's having someone to run with. You're heading into the Civic Center, former headquarters for government yep, and law that's enforcement for sure. agencies. And I really do mean former. There were widespread protests and riots here in the early days of the outbreak. And it's no now, shepherding it's we at the like same level. The society exactly. Thank you. Detected. Near my location. Guarded by hostiles. Now, I've already been down one of these side roads, and I forget which one it is. I think it's the one right over here, where we've already opened that room. But I don't think, Ma I don't know if Max did or not. No, I did not. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, everything's gone there. That might be because it's my world. Probably. Because I did not open that one. Nearby signal one detected. Down, yeah? You're coming up on the drone. I'll grab that on the way out. Dig out that transceiver and we'll All see where it takes us. All these tutorials. I know. Up. But we appreciate it. We noobs. Yep, exactly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're not noobs. The characters are. Yeah, well, that's them. Yeah. And then ask me on on a given day, and sometimes I'm I'm still a noob. Yeah, absolutely. Electronic device detected. Device detected. Keener, come in. This is Keener. What are we looking at, Theo? Transceiver secured. Downloading comms protocols. Recovering that transceiver is a good start, but we need more data if we're going to locate Parnell. I had an eight. Recovering that transceiver is a good start, but we need more data if we're going to locate Parnell. I had an agent drop off their latest surveillance report at a community nearby. There should be some relevant data in there. You should be able to cross-reference the two, then isolate patterns that will point us in the right direction. A hostile control point detected. Where we're going to have to do a control point at some point, we may as well do this one now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab the resources that are right around here first. Actually, no, let's go to the community first because we need to unlock the, uh, the board so that we get credit for it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Electronic Just going back here. Well, I didn't expect to see you here this late. I might say the same thing about you, Captain. This is the only time I can get some reading done. Well, don't let me bother you. I'm just filing some papers. I won't be long. Box here. Some components. 
all valuable. Yep. It's hilarious. There's my uh wasn't there a phone yet? Yep. The resources tab has an exclamation mark on it, but I don't know what's new. Be or I, I know what it's new with. I've crafted a couple of, uh, of blueprints into mods and shit, but uh, I can't. I yeah. Yellow. Nice. Contractor, contractor's gloves. Sweet. Damn. Let me check that. Yeah. Absolutely. Level 31. Hmm. Awesome. Nice. I haven't been that lucky this early. <laughs> I have sporadically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. You know, there's always something new that you, I throw in the stash and I can use along the way. Yeah. But it won't last long. It's only 31. Exactly. It looks like you and I are the odd ducks out for the raid. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. You know, that's the oh, that's well. the initial sign up. I had a look earlier, well, just before I came into game, and there's like 14 that have signed up now already. Yeah, you know what? If we get two more, maybe we can divide up and run two. Yeah, absolutely. There's two maybes. And I know I'm not really talking a whole lot about what it is that I'm doing down here. It's it's nothing more than gathering every single bit of resources that I possibly can and this Jenny because it opens up another resource area. So that generator, excuse me, <clears throat> you'll notice that there's a power cable that snakes out through here from that generator around to this subway station. Normally you don't, you cannot access it because it's flooded or there's a shock panel on it that either clears the water or turns off the electronic, the electric. I can't remember which it does at this point. But it's a non-standard one, so the one of the two ca caches give you a little bit of extra stuff than a standard box. And again, the, the phones are all important because they give you XP towards hitting level 40, which is the goal at this point. So we have to resupply a control point, complete three activities, and recover SHD caches. So that we can open that. Looks like Parnell's drones have been controlled from an abandoned prison. So let's see what else we've gotten. Perfect place to hide a covert operation. I'm gonna keep what we have here for now. Not for long. 